how that statue of Mary and Spencer is being dedicated. It was just unveiled as we came on the air along Cincinnati's riverfront. Spencer was a civil rights pioneer. Reporter Marielle Carbone is live where they just unveiled this a couple minutes ago. A lot of people there, Marielle. <laughs> Yeah, Evan, a lot of people because this is such a big deal. And uh, just to kind of give you some context, that statue was just unveiled. That's why all these people around me, they're walking up to see the statue. So I'm going to let our photographer, he's going to kind of make his way through the crowd so you can get a look at the statue while I talk to you guys a little bit just about how big of a deal this is. Now, this statue of Marion Spencer, it is the first statue in Cincinnati that is a of a woman. So that in itself, a huge deal, but it's really fitting with who she was. She was the first African-American woman on city council, the first African-American woman to be vice mayor. So a lot of firsts here, and that is why uh, this statue is down here along the riverfront dedicated to her. Now, we had a whole program of speakers here, different city council members, um, <laughs> county commissioners, family members, and they were just here talking about the impact that Marion Spencer had on Cincinnati. She fought to desegregate Cincinnati public schools. She fought to desegregate the Coney Island swimming pool. She was a fighter for justice and equality and that's what they all spoke to today. They are hoping that everyone out here taking these photos, looking at this statue, remembers that when they come down here to the riverfront. Take a listen to Mayor Cranley. For those of us who got to know and work with Marion, it was a living reminder of the good, the bad, the promise, and ultimately the hope for a better future and a better today. Now, I know you were able to see that statue a little bit, so if, if you had a little trouble with all the people around, just to give you a little explanation of what's in that statue there, is a girl in that statue that's a composite of four Whitten Hills Academy students who uh, created a book about Spencer and her life. And then, of course, you see Spencer in there, uh, a little boy in there wearing a red ball cap and a T-shirt that says, Keep on Fighting. That was uh, one of Spencer's favorite sayings. And one of the things a lot of the speakers uh, mentioned here when talking about her, one other thing here worth mentioning, uh, that was said about Spencer today. They said she was the queen of her city, the queen of Cincinnati, and clearly by all the people out here today, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people would agree. So uh, we're going to get back to getting some video of this so we can bring you some fresh shots of the statue so you can see it a little bit better when we come back on the air tonight at 11. But for now, reporting live from the banks, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News. Mary